This concerned father emailed us saying that his son had a serious head injury while on the bus as it was parked in this school parking lot. Well, one week later, this dad says he still does not have any answers about how this now traumatic injury happened. I want to know how it happened. What is on a public school bus that can injure a child? Put a hole in their head. David Brewer shared this photo of the six staples holding together the gash in his son's head. What dad knows is it was caused on a park school bus before class on April 4th. Days later, David's son still won't share his story. When you ask him what happened this day, he says, I don't want to talk about it. With a serious tone, I don't want to talk about it. it whether it's he's embarrassed because he was horse playing and he got hurt and he thinks he's going to get scolded or something, I don't, I don't know. And it's not like Jack. Jack is, Jack is great. But it's obviously traumatic for him. <laughs> it is. The incident happened in the Eureka Heights Elementary parking lot. The Taylor School District tells Fox 2 moments later the school bus driver alerted the principal about the injury. The district says the school then notified the parents while helping the child, wrote an internal report, and eventually did its own investigation. A statement from the district says, quote, as a school district, the health, welfare, and safety of all of our students is our number one priority. Students are not able to successfully learn unless they are healthy and safe. I am proud of the quick response of our employees to be able to address the immediate medical needs of a student in need. What can we do to make sure it doesn't happen again, okay? But first and foremost, this is a head injury. And when I walked into the school, he, d he doesn't even have a, a, a piece of cotton or anything on it at all. It's an open wound and blood was still pouring down. And th they should have called 911 before they called me. What is the most frustrating part about this situation? That I am having to diligently seek an answer. I don't know but he won't be on that bus with that bus driver. District leadership has met with David Brewer about his son's injury. They tell Fox 2 that they are open to having a follow-up meeting. David says his son can have the stables removed in the next few days. In Taylor, Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.